Lab Safety Rules, Lesson for Kids Sometimes children are asking, why are lab safety rules important? The answer is the same. Proper lab safety prevents cross-contamination. Disease and bacteria are spread when lab procedures are not followed. Remember that the instruments used by students and professionals must be fully cleaned and sterilized to prevent the dangerous spread of germs. There are 10 lab safety rules, and when you are in lab, it is very important that you follow these 10 rules. 1. Walk. 2. Proper lab attire. 3. Handling chemicals. 4. Handling equipment. 5. Broken glass. 6. Shower or eye wash. 7. Fire safety. 8. Eating or drinking in lab. 9. Cleaning up. 10. Hand washing. Now, let's learn about each of these 10 rules, because it's important to know about them. When going into the lab, make sure to walk. There will be no running in the lab. There will be materials and equipment out that can break, if you accidentally knock into them. There may be electrical wires on the ground, that you may trip over as well. You have been given a schedule of when our labs will be held. The day before we do a lab, I will remind you so that you can come to class prepared with proper lab attire. Proper attire is as follows, closed toed shoes, safety goggles, lab coats. When handling chemicals during lab, it is important to proceed with caution. Wear gloves whenever pouring chemicals or handling them. Never smell a chemical directly. You can waft or fan the fumes toward yourself. It is important that when you are using different lab equipment, you handle them with care. Microscopes should be held with both hands, one underneath and one on the arm. When handling glassware, be sure to hold it with both hands when can. If you break a piece of glassware, do not touch it. Tell the teacher immediately when it breaks. They will then come over and properly dispose of it. If chemicals or particles get in your eyes, walk to the eye wash station and rinse out your eyes for 15 minutes. Make sure that you keep your eyes open when you rinse them. In the event that there is a fire during lab, immediately tell the teacher. Walk over to the fire extinguisher, pull out the safety pin. Aim the nozzle towards the fire, and push the handle down. Empty out the entire tank. There will be no eating or drinking during lab. There are days that we may be using chemicals, and I don't want you to get sick. Also, the lab tables may have had chemicals on them previously, that were not properly cleaned up. So, you should not eat or drink on them either. Once lab is over, you have enough time to clean your lab table. If you used any chemicals, make sure to dump them into the waste container at your lab table. Do not pour them down the sink. Before leaving the lab, always wash your hands. Make sure you use soap and water or scrub your hands thoroughly at the hand washing station. Some of the materials we will be using could be harmful to you, so it's important that you wash your hands. Here's the end of the video. Be always with ECD Hub.